and welcome back to my channel. My name is Randomize and this is a brand new thing on my channel and we are going to be playing through Pokemon Pyrite, a ROM hack for Pokemon Crystal made by the superly named Crystal, um, it's Crystal underscore on Pokey, uh, on Poke Community and yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing this. Essentially, this is a difficulty hack but it's a very special difficulty hack. It doesn't just change difficulty by making all the trainers harder, levels harder, etc. It has a lot more various little um, touches to it, which I think look really interesting and actually very much change just how you play the game as a whole. It's difficult, but not in a way that you just need to grind up all the way, but really you need to start thinking about things. So that we have lots and lots and lots of new introductory things. Additionally, you can also catch all the Pokemon in this game. There are all the Pokemon are available in some way or another, I believe. But the extensive thing here is that we have balanced learn sets, so Pokemon learn different things. They also evolve at different levels, later levels, in order to balance with the sort of the extended level curve. We have um, touches such as um, we have. Uh, we have, sorry, we have slight map changes as well, but as far as I know, what you have mainly is, you have level caps before each gym, you have, um, so level caps mean, you obviously, your Pokemon no longer gain experience after they start, after they reach a certain level before a given gym, and that way, you sort of fix it. You have a fixed set mode, so I've never played Pokemon with set mode, so set means that you, um, when your opponent, when you faint your opponent's Pokemon, usually they'll obviously switch out. And usually you then, they then, usually the game tells you your opponent is about to send in whatever. And you can be like, oh, well I'm going to change my Pokemon for that. In this case, you can't do that. They don't just chain, you know, you actually have to, they swap in their next Pokemon with your Pokemon still in there. And you can't do anything about it. Um, so that's set mode is fixed. You have no healing items during battles, which is a really big thing. So no healing items during battles. You can obviously heal outside of battles. Um, yeah, there's loads and loads and loads of information. It's all on the poker the poker community uh, site, which I'll link on the description panel on of my channel, where I put all of the hacks information. But yeah, so uh, we also have improved AI. The boosts that you get to, um, you, the boosts you naturally get for your Pokemon stats because of collecting badges are no longer part of the game, we have uh, base experience has changed, base money has changed, um, lots and lots of different things, catch rates are slightly different, um, yeah, and it's, it's actually, so there's going to be lots and lots of different little things that we're going to be able to look at now. And so, as far as I know, um, the base story is not changed particularly much, and because it's not changed particularly much, what we will be doing is we will um, zip through quite a lot of the game. So anyway, uh, it is currently... Uh, this is not the current time, but um, I want to essentially make this ideal... Um, uh, essentially, I want to make this ideal such that I can uh, quite easily access two time periods a day in terms of uh, in terms of uh, just getting through time and uh, in order to be able to so obviously for, to search for Pokemon um, in both uh, the morning, the day, and the night because obviously uh, we have that feature included because obviously this is Crystal Gen two. So obviously we have Oak going on about how we need to solve mysteries, uh, we are going to put in our name, do Mark once more. Yep, 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 it's cool. Um, we will go quickly to the options and just make sure we get uh, that on fast, that on off. As you can see, battle mode is set and you cannot change it to two sets. That's the important, that's one of the big things in this. And we're going to just zip through again through the start of this game. We obviously have, um, our mom is going to give us our poke gear. Um, today is, uh, no, we want to actually make it the true, true day. Uh, and then you get phone, cool. And then this is um, the daughter. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
So anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to start off early on. We obviously go and meet Professor Elmer, and then we're going to be able to grab our first Pokemon. And obviously we have the choice of, uh, and obviously, so yeah, as as usual, the, the start, we have to go see uh, Professor, uh, sorry, Mr. Pokemon and help him out. So anyway, we will take Cyndaquil. Um, Cyndaquil is uh, the one we're going to be using for our playthrough this time. Mainly because we've already used Totodile, and uh, we didn't use, we haven't used Chikorita yet. But I think um, I'm interested to, to using what the Cyndaquil is going to be like. And obviously, um, this guy's also going to give us a potion. Cool. So see, we have our rival up there. We have all the other things going on in this in this town as usual. Uh, Elm's house, Pikachu's in evolved form. Yeah. So yeah, all the usual stuff that you sort of expect, and then, okay, Route 20, Route 29, we're going to be able to see what Pokemon we have here. As far as I know, the um, Pokemon, the wild Pokemon locations obviously have been changed, but they have been changed in such a way that um, it's natural, so you won't, like, get crazy, you won't, like, get Dratini in, like, Route 1 or something like that. So, uh, it might well be sort of pretty similar to what you sort of... Maybe not necessarily what you'd expect. Oh, I don't know, the berry. Uh, we, why did you get two uses of your berry? Anyway. Um, so obviously we've got to be careful um, because our Pokemon are not going to be particularly strong. And again, I can't heal um, before battle. Uh, sorry, I, yeah, again, using a berry. So wild Pokemon have berries, yeah, there's going to be lots of other things. You know how your Pokemon, if they're weak, and they keep out of the grass. That's very difficult to do. Of course, because... Really? Okay. I'm just going to grab this item, see what it is. It's another potion. As you can see, we've seen what... This is, um... So this should be morning, and because it's morning, we've seen what... Centrip, Pidgey... Ah, uh, you're kidding. Oh, you're... Come on, there we go. Cyndaquil grows to level 6. He saved his progress. Um, we can get... Two. Okay, so that's another thing. Every time you uh, you pick berries, you get two. Uh, two at a time. That guy's waiting for Pokemon that only appear at night. Again, nothing else around there. So obviously we can't catch Pokemon, but we can see what sort of Pokemon are around. So we see Centret and Pidgey um, currently. We're obviously also going to be able to see um, into the daytime as well, to see what Pokemon are available around then. Uh, I do want to get my Pokemon up to level 7, ideally. Maybe get a stab move. I don't know when a Cyndaquil gets a stab move. And obviously all the learn sets have been changed, so it wouldn't, even if I did know, it wouldn't particularly help me here. Um, so obviously lots of fast forwarding in this early stage, but that's just um, because, you know, you guys already know how Gen 2 starts. We've already done all of this before. So you, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? Yeah. So we talked to this guy and he's obviously going to show us the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon Mart, the... And he's going to give us uh, the map card as well, which is all I was really looking for from him. And then we're going to be able to climb up Route 30, so Violet City to Cherry Grove City, we can get a berry from here, we can get a berry from him. What else can we do? So Route uh, 30, what Pokemon do we see? More, um, more Pidgey, lots of Pidgey. We see Wild Lady, but okay, so there's a Pokemon I have never used before. Um, don't think it'd be particularly useful to use a lady bar, but we could. The option is there. Uh, more Pidgey. Alright, we better keep moving. Hey, you let's have, you have Pokemon, let's have a, did we have a battle beforehand? I don't know. Anyway, I think some, some of the text has been changed, but most of like the storyline stuff and all that hasn't. You beat me fair and square, good job. Yeah, I don't remember him being around there. We get the antidote. Mr. Pokemon's house is a bit further ahead. We can't go by there because of the Pokemon battle, I remember that. 
or Caterpie, which obviously we can't use because we've already used uh, Butterfree. But if there's Caterpie, there's often Weedle. I could use Weedle. I've got some bug Pokemon. It's time to see how strong they are. Bug Catcher looks like to battle when he's got a Caterpie. I just realised I've got a big issue here in that, um, obviously I can't heal. So, we're probably going to die here. Yeah, we're definitely going to die now. Of course he had to poison me. It wouldn't have mattered because obviously he became faster than me when um, he string shotted, so we would have been uh, outsped anyway, so. We'll just zip, continue to zip through all this um, as we meet you once more. I probably, uh, what I should be thinking about doing is like giving Cyndaquil a berry to hold, potentially. But anyway, we can take out the Caterpie with relative ease. And down goes the Weedle as Cyndaquil grows to level 9. So yeah, as you can see, this route has been uh, redesigned, uh, a bit more zigzaggy. Mr. Pokemon's house, we can get uh, some Poison Cure Berries, which are really nice against those Weedles. And we're going to get the Mystery Egg, and he's going to send us back to um, Professor Elm. We meet Professor Oak, he's going to give us a Pokedex, yada yada yada. He's going to give us a rest. And then, and then Professor Elm is like, oh no, stuff's happened, come back. We see Wild Metapod. Um, I don't know why I live there. It's just a waste of tackle PP, but oh well. There we go, down goes the Metapod. So a lot of fast forwarding to start off, but that's nothing to that's sort of to be expected. And then uh, we're going to encounter a rival who will obviously have a total dial. So, you got a Pokemon at the lab or to waste a wimp like you. So, we have a rival here. He's got himself a total dial, and we can just tackle away. I probably should lead, but. Uh, and give him myself a berry. Oh, don't crit me. Yeah. He crit me twice in a row. But anyway, I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. And he disappears. So obviously we don't actually need to beat him. Uh, would have been nice to, but we don't need to. Um, just to sort of show him up. Uh, is that now day? I didn't see. But anyway. As we see Wild Lady Bar around here as well. So we might have uh, we might have traversed into daytime. Yet maybe no. No, still 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 in the morning. Pop back to Professor Elm, and our rival's name is going to be uh, Lucas. I decided. Don't know why. Just decided his name is Lucas. So anyway, it's terrible. He gives us a Pokemon egg. That's true. He says to take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Buddy, buddy, blah. And then he gives us. The aide is going to give us some Pokeballs. Uh, we're going to go to our mum, and she's going to offer to. Uh, she's going to tell us to put away some money, whether she wants to keep money. Uh, the best way, reason to save, for her to save her money is just so we don't lose all the money that we get um, whenever we battle. And then we can leave, and this guy's going to show us how to catch Pokemon. All of the usual stuff here in um, Gen 2 to begin with, as the Rattata was caught. So, um... We're going to see what we can catch. We can see Centret, which obviously we can't use. We've already used Ferret. We've already used uh, Pidgeot. The Lady Bar is an option, it must be said. Um, I mean, this is a playthrough, so I might as well catch these guys. Because I can. Um, I should have... Yeah, I've got five Pokeballs. We can catch ourselves the Pidgey, the tiny bird Pokemon. And centre it, hopefully. We obviously also did see a uh, a um, we obviously also saw our lady bar, so we'll hopefully try and catch uh, lady bar as well. There we go. We can catch a centre it, a scout Pokemon. And um, what else do we have? Pidgey. Pidgey. I suppose the only other the other place we can go is we can go up here to Route 46 and we can see what Pokemon are available up here. See what Spearow. 
Um, I think we can attack again, yeah. And now pack uh, Pokeball. For Sparrow, we can use, because I don't think I, did I, I don't think I used Sparrow in my flying monotype. I think I used Odrio instead. I'll have to check. We could use, oh no, because I, I used Sparrow in, um, uh, something else. Maybe, maybe Bronze? Brown? Definitely used Sparrow. And you can see we've got also, um, Geodude. I don't really want to fight the Geodude just because if they got any rock type moves, I'm dead. Um... It's good to see that they're here. Uh, we can catch them. Anything else? Plus, I don't think... Um, obviously, they resist tackle, so... Tackle's not going to do much. Anything? No, just... Okay, cool. Nothing really around that. So now... Um, we'll again see if we run into anything along these routes. Anything new? No, more Pidgey. The little court icon is so important. So anyway, there, and now we can go into here, and we can be like, give me Pokeballs. Eventually we'll need potions, obviously, as well, but uh, I'm not too worried. And we can also go into here, and we can see what we can try and find. Caterpie! <laughs> Uh, catch ourselves a Caterpie, the worm Pokemon. Uh, we'll also see if we can catch Weedle, if Weedle are indeed around here. We don't know for sure, obviously. Ladybar, there we go, that's the other one. That we've obviously seen. Uh, pack, Pokeball. Doo doo doof, sweet. So the five star Pokemon. So in theory, I, could, I think I've got a full. Yeah, I've already got a full. I've got a full team essentially, but um, obviously uh, we won't necessarily be using many of these Pokemon at all. Um, as we just continue to zip our way through this early section of the game, more Caterpie. Essentially, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going. Uh, essentially, it should hopefully be turning to... Um, uh, let's just screw down that pod. We should hopefully be turning to uh, daytime soon, which will be um, useful. Because it obviously gives us a whole... Hopefully a whole new host of Pokemon to try and find. Um, but before that, what we will obviously do is we will take on these uh, trainers up here and try and just try and get to Violet City. Um... So we'll slow stuff down and we'll start taking on these guys. So I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Again, I think this text might have changed. So maybe the battle text has? Or maybe I should actually slow down and just start talking to people. Very. So we got ourselves a Pidgey here um, at level 5. We're at level 9. And obviously, uh, because this is a, uh, a trainer battle, we'll start getting a advanced experience, which is really useful. I think the level um, cap is for 20. I think we can reach level 20 before we have to defeat the first gym. And the so cool learns Ember. That's amazing. Sweet. So that obviously gives us uh, a stab move. And Ember does so much as our actor is going to tell with. Don't have quick attack. Beautiful. And we defeat the youngster, sweet. Do I have to do I have to have more Pokemon in order to battle better? That's not necessarily the case. But anyway. Um I'm gonna say my Cyndaquil can take the next battle. As we again so us continually just gonna wait for um Wait for day to uh, come along. Youngster wants to battle. He's got a Sentret uh, that we can hopefully smoke with Ember. Your defense color is going to do nothing for you. Geodude. Okay, here's an issue. How much does Ember do to you? That does a lot. And we get the burn as well, which is really useful because obviously it means that tackle did not as much. He's got another Sentret. And a right. 
And you, that one did have Pokédex. Okay, so anyway, we defeat the youngster. Becoming a good trainer is really tough. I'm going to battle other people to get better. Uh, we're just going to head back and heal up. Um, eventually, uh, I'm not too sure, obviously, what um, my team is going to be. We cut off... We we're obviously limited as to which Pokemon we can use, and I'm just going to quickly catch a Geodude. Uh, we haven't yet. Still morning. Hmm. Maybe I've mistimed it. I, said, I definitely said 9.45, didn't I? Or 9.43, so 12 minutes. But anyway. Oh, I didn't. I just realised. I killed that dude when I wanted to save it. No anyway. Well, Rattata! Okay, so we can catch this little guy, hopefully. Stay in the ball. There we go! Rattata, the rat Pokemon. And you dude. Okay, so here, Ember. And we get the burn, and it's going to kill the dude. Cynical Gross level 12. Ember, burn. Getting lots of burns with Ember, which is quite nice. Uh, Pokeball. Boom, there we go, sweet. So, we got the rock Pokemon as well. Route 29. Hmm. Maybe they changed the time of day as well. I actually have to check this. Uh, but anyway, uh, so, yeah, to finish off this episode, I say to finish off, but uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to race back to where we were and start taking on more trainers. So, I'm not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. See, that's, that's the same, bug catcher, Weedle. We can just smoke you with Ember. Paris, we can destroy you with Ember. And Canopy. So lots of bug types. Uh, if it's still morning, we might as well try and reach the top then. But anyway, I'm tra training hard to challenge the gym leader of Violet City. Says Youngster. Okay, so that's something. They don't actually have names. Um, we're going to face off against this Zubat. Thank you for confusing me. We Ember, there we go. And wants to learn Quick Attack. Nice. That's uh, better than Smoke Screen. Because lowering. I never like trying to lower accuracy in general. Uh, let's see how much Ember does. We do out speed, as you'd expect. Something level. Ah, uh, there we go. We just one shot it. And a Pikachu! And it Thunder Waves us. That's fun. So anyway, we defeat that uh, youngster. There are eight gyms in Johto. I dream of beating them. And we reach Route 31, so we can actually get more, maybe more Pokemon. And there's also Dark Cave as well, so uh, certainly more things to see as we see Wild Nidoran, male Nidoran. So uh, I don't know if the, has the position of the pack and the Pokemon button changed, but anyway. We get male Nidoran, we get wild Ekans, more Pokemon that I've already used. Um, oh man, crit. Pidgey. I'd love to reach the next town, but I think I'll have, definitely have to battle before then. Yeah, the guy down there. Do I have anything? I have poison cure berries and a potion. Uh, let's see if we can get by this guy. I caught a bunch of Pokemon, let me battle with you. No. But he's a bug catcher, so hopefully we can just... Uh, I didn't mean to quick attack that, I meant to Ember. As we go to level 14, Spinarak. And we can Ember again. Metapod. And be Kakuna. There we go, awesome. So nice and simple. You can catch Pokemon even if you have six with you. If you catch one, it will go to your box automatically. Yeah. All stuff we already know. 
and we can't escape, but now he's out, good. So we reached Violet City, and we were able to heal up, um, and now we'll just head back, and we'll see what other Pokemon there are, but anyway, I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave, I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner, he's the leader of Violet City. So I think that's talking about Geodude, I guess, because, um, obviously Geodude is a rock type, and rock types are very strong against Faulkner. It's probably there to help people if they, like, chose Chikorita, for example. But anyway, Arok Tulflato, looking for Pokemon, might be uh, sleepy. If I was a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. That's a wink, too, saying, you know, see, if the Pokemon is sleeping, it's easy to catch. Anyway, uh, this Ekans, let's try and not kill it this time. Uh, pack. Pokeball. Boom! Sweet, another Pokemon, the snake Pokemon. Obviously, because its name is snake spelled backwards. And Cyndaquil keeps growing loads of levels, I and mean, we're up to level 15 already. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Pokemon can light it up, you just need the right Pokemon. So it looks like we've pretty much exhausted all the Pokemon um, availabilities so far, except for this one. There we go, female Nidoran. Oh man, didn't want to kill that. And that does not kill. Oh. I suppose it is only base, what, 40 power, I guess? Female Nidoran. Come on, give me female. Female Nidoran. There we go. Female Nidoran, Ember, doesn't take it out. Pack, Pokeball. Doof doof. Ah, I thought that was in. Come on, stay. Please stay in the ball. There we go. We catch ourselves a female Nidoran. The poison pin come on as well. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to head into Dark Cave, see what we have. Wild Teddy Ursa. Ooh. I've never used Ursa Ring. I've never used Ursa Ring. That is a really good choice. Does it flee? I forgot Teddy Ursa could flee. But that's really interesting. The fact that there are Teddy Ursa there is really, really cool. Something new, something interesting, something different, and something potentially very useful. So, all really good things. Wild Machop. Die in one hit to Ember at the moment. Okay. Just, again, just sort of learning things. Um, Ember kills Zubat as well. So we've got Zubat, Machop, and Teddy Ursa to try and catch in here. What time is it? What time of day? Is it still? Yes, yeah, still... Still morning. Is that still yellowy? So Still in the morning. And we got Zubat. Okay, so we want to quick attack you. And then we just try and catch it, I guess. There we go. Zubat, so the bat's Pokemon. That one Pokemon you can almost always count on to be at the start of, you know, most of these early games. Okay, come on. Give me, give me. You know you want to give me a Teddy Ursa. Be like a 1% Pokemon or somehow. <laughs> Wild Abra! Okay, so we've got a save. Uh, the reason I have other save states is just because I um, essentially I just uh, checked. Uh, as we catch the Abra first time, wow. Essentially, I wanted to make sure that obviously this was the uh, the right game, so you have to play through it slightly at the start and just make sure that everything's okay. But anyway, we catch an Abra, the Psy Pokemon, so that's interesting. Machop. We quick attack and you low kick and miss. We've already used Machamp, so I can't use Machop. Please stay in the ball. Thank you. The superpower Pokemon. So now all we need is that Teddy Ursa. Simple was up at level 16, which is... So obviously by now we'd normally be evolving, but... Uh, uh, we don't evolve at the moment because... Um, of how uh, the evolution in this game works. So, anyway. Doesn't look like this wants to be particularly uh, compliant. Unfortunately. Ah, there we go. Well, Teddy Asa, just as I was saying. 
So, I'm pretty sure you have stupidly high catch rates, don't you? Wow, it stayed in. Stayed around. One. Anyway, so it flees that time. Can I damage you? No. Well, I can, but it just depends whether it flees or not. There we go. Okay, so we load you down. Now we go for the Pokeball. One, two, three. There we go. We catch ourselves a Teddy Ursa, the little bear Pokemon. It always licks honey. Its palm tastes sweet because of all the honey it has absorbed. That's really cool. So, a Teddy Ursa. There is a Pokemon I've never used before and could well use because Ursaring is power. Ursaring is really not that bad. Okay, cool. So, that is that. Um, what we're going to do is, seeing as I was expecting to be able to go back at the daytime and catch lots of Pokemon, what's going to happen is we're just going to talk some people around here. Sorry. It was around three years ago, Team Rocket was up to no good with Pokemon, but Justice prevailed. A young kid broke them up. I don't have the badge from Bart's Steel, so my Pokemon stopped growing at level 20. There's the hint towards what's going on here. A guy named Bill made the Pokemon PC storage system. <laughs> And ghosts uh, said, ghosts are a rumor, eh, ghosts are rumored to appear in Strat Tower, and they said that normal type moves don't work on ghosts. A Pokemon you get in trade grows quickly, but needs time to get used to the new trainer. There's no obedience system, if I remember, it's uh, adapted because of the level cap system. But anyway, I collect Pokemon, do you have Paris? I want to trade it for my Larptar. Okay, interesting. Um, that'd be quite cool. Never used Larptar. As a pretty, uh, obviously, devastating Pokemon in Tyranitar. The Pokemon I just got is holding something. A Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself in barrel, in battle. I'm taking notes of the teacher's lecture. I better copy the stuff on the blackboard, too. Obviously, we don't need to look at that. We already know what all that says. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer. If you beat the gym leader here, you'll be ready for prime time. That's Sprout Tower, obviously. Anyway. Faulkner from the Violet Pokemon Gym is a fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done a great job with it. You don't look to be ready to challenge him yet. You should train in Sprout Tower first. You will not regret it. So we're locked out from facing Faulkner until we do um, that. Hello, you train at Battle of the Gym Leader when you did. Is that so? Then study shall you. And he takes us over here. She's just the one of the teachers. Pokemon can hold items like Potion and Antidote, but they don't appear to you know how to... Sorry. Pokemon can hold items like Potion and Antidote, but they don't seem to appear to know how to use man-made items. When you first catch a Pokemon, it may be weak, but it will eventually grow to be strong. It's important to treat Pokemon with love. I saw a wiggly tree up ahead. If you touch it, it squirms and dances. Cool. She uses the names of her favourite things to eat for the nickname she gives her Pokemon. I mean... I call my Pidgey a Strawberry. See, I think that's changed, because I think that used to be, like, Pidgey or something really silly. But anyway, an old-looking tree is blocking the way to Goldenrod. It's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. Well, hey, I was going to snap that tree with my straight arm punch, but I couldn't. I'm a failure. And we can come up here and we can find more Pokemon to try and catch. So we have a wild bell sprout here. Um, we used Victory Bell, so we can't use Bell Sprout, but we surely can catch them. Uh, what else do we have here? Might as well search this area and see what's going on. But I'm looking for wild Pokemon, but I can't say no to a Pokemon battle. Oh. So you, even though we walked in front of it, it doesn't matter. It's actually you need to talk to this person to trigger the battle. Anyway, we should hopefully be able to take out a female Nidoran with some embers. She's got a Growlithe. So we're going to leer a couple of times. And then we'll quick attack. And quick attack again. And again. And the final Pokemon is an Oddish, so we can just remember that. What do you have to say? Don't like dinner. <laughs> Trained Pokemon are stronger than the wild ones. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pop into the Mart and buy some Pokeballs, as many as we can. Four. And then uh, we can try and catch any more Pokemon that are around here. So we have more Bellsprout, more Pidgey. We'll do 10 encounters maybe. 
It's usually what I do. Five. Wild Growlithe, okay, cool. So. Uh, I kind of want to save Peep. Save Pokeballs, just because they're expensive at the moment. But anyway, we catch ourselves a Growlithe, the, the puppy Pokemon. It'd be nice to be able to use Growlithe, but obviously we already have a fire type in Cyndaquil, and Cyndaquil is a Pokemon that's going to be sticking with us. Um, so, no luck there. Nothing there. And nothing there. Cool. And we can also enter the Ruins of Alf, and more importantly though, we can actually get encounters here. Because normally, I mean, you can talk to these people. This place has a mystical quality to it. It feels sort of ethereal. This is a big room, but there's nothing here. Lots of statues. Obviously, you know, normally what you can do in the Ruins of Alf is limited because you need to surf. Eh? Ancient buildings are often tombs of kings, like the pyramids. Don't be silly, Egypt doesn't exist. Uh, the Ruins of Alf, visitors welcome. I think these... The ruins are about 1,500 years old, but it's not why they're built. There are odd drawings in the ruins. Welcome to this chamber. There are sliding panels that depict a Pokemon. Slide the panels to form the picture. Recently, strange cryptic patterns have appeared. It's odd that they weren't here a little while ago. You should take a look at the walls. But anyway, what we want to do is we want to see what Pokemon we can catch in this area as well. Just to finish off um, this episode, we will see what we can catch. We obviously see Wild Abra. We see Wild Natu, obviously a Pokemon we have used before. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. And it teleports. That's just like... Okay, the fact that it can teleport tells me I need to uh, watch out. Anything else? Natu? Okay, so we want to save. Just in case it wants to teleport again. We've got a berry. Oh man, crit. Okay, and it's going to berry. Going to pack. So again, yeah, so I'm just going to try and, I'm just trying to save Pokeballs, essentially. And there we go, we catch ourselves a Natu, the little bird Pokemon. Cool, anything else around here? Just Abra and Natu, it looks like. Okay, and obviously there is a guy there. If he wants to battle, let me just heal up. Let's see what level you are. What do you want? I'm studying. Don't disturb me. Okay, so no, we can battle this guy. Super nerd with Voltorb at level 8. Abra. Psyduck. Ooh, that's bad. There. Power Whip. There. Fury Swipes. Quick Attack. Ah, and he faints me. Okay, cool. Um... Let's see if our Ladybug can... <laughs> Ladybug gains three levels and learns Comet Punch. What is Comet Punch? And finally a Grimer. It's normal type move, 15, and... That was three hits, and it did that little damage. Spiro. Uh, Peck. Canopy. Tackle. I wouldn't be surprised if we lose this, but that's fine. I mean, don't get too much about this. Yeah, there we go. Cool. We'll heal up. And then we'll quickly just... Uh, I just want to quickly gain revenge on that. Obviously, we could have finished that very, very quickly had we just battled him with our with a fully healed up Cyndaquil. Um, so, I mean, even that, uh, that side up isn't really an issue for us. So we're just going to Ember... I mean, Ember is still a 3 hit KO, which is the important thing. And then Grimer. Ember is a 2 hit KO. Awesome. 
So there we go. Uh, we have done quite a lot. <laughs> it's all one big mystery. So we have done quite a lot this episode. We have obviously caught many, many Pokemon. Um, just to start off this uh, Let's Play, we've also... Um, so we've got maybe the basis of a team. I don't know quite uh, what Pokemon we kind of want on our team. Um, but we have the basis of what could be a decent team. Um, we also... Uh, I've explored all of these areas in the morning and have uh, gathered to see what sort of uh, stuff there are. And in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll start off by going back to um, the start, because we don't need to go back to the start to see Professor Elm to give him the... to collect the egg, because we only do that. I think we get given the egg here in this generation. But we'll be able to go back to the start and uh, see what there is to catch in the daytime. Because unfortunately, I don't know why it hasn't changed today. Um, maybe maybe my timing was slightly wrong. But um, we'll see what Pokemon can be caught in the daytime. And then um, what we'll also do is we will... Um, we will then uh, go through Sprout Tower. And we'll also see if we can take on Faulkner and his gym. So... Hope you have enjoyed this episode of my playthrough of Pokemon Pyrite, and I hope you will join me on the next episode when, yeah, when we'll do all those things. I'll see you then.